Hi. We will discuss the chapter insurance claim. What do you mean by insurance claim? You know, business is always have to face, the business has to face risk, you know. And risk is an inevitable part of the business. So naturally, we will have to face the risk. And one of the risk is relating to fire. The goods of the business may be destroyed by fire. So for that purpose, to overcome this risk, we will usually take an insurance policy, fire insurance policy. Now let us discuss how we can make a claim for insurance in the event of a fire. Suppose a fire breaks out in a business and a part of the stock is being destroyed. And how will you claim uh, the amount of insurance from the insurance company? That is the topic we are going to discuss today. So, suppose uh, the financial year of the business is started on 1st term, April 2015. 1st April 2015. And suppose a fire breaks out. A fire breaks out on 1st July 2015. A part of the stock is destroyed and you will have to uh, submit a claim to the insurance company. So how will you uh, submit the claim to the insurance company? In that case, you will, you will have to prepare a, an account called a memorandum trading account. You will have to prepare a memorandum trading account. Memorandum trading account. For the period from 1st April to 1st July 2015. Memorandum trading account. How will you prepare the memorandum account, trading account? You have to take into account the opening stock. Opening stock means opening stock. That is the stock at the beginning of this financial year. Then you will have to take the purchases. Purchases means purchases from 1st April to 1st July up to the date of fire. Then you will have to take the direct expenses during that period. Then you will have to take sales during the period from 1st July to 1st, I mean 1st April to 1st July. The only thing absent is closing stock. So you will have to find out the closing stock at the date of fire. That is our answer. So if you want to find out the closing stock at the date of fire, we need gross profit. Usually the result of a trading account is gross profit, you know. For finding out gross profit, we require what? Closing stock. Here, we will have to find out the value of stock destroyed by fire. So, we have to find out the gross profit in advance. How will you find out the gross profit? In the problem, sometimes the ratio of gross profit may be given. In that case, you have to find the gross profit ratio as a percentage on sales. In that case, you will give here gross profit. How you calculate gross profit? Sales into GP ratio. GP ratio may be given in the problem. Suppose we assume the GP ratio is given in the problem. That is GP ratio it will be given here. Then you balance the account. Debit side will be more. You get the answer on the credit side. So naturally closing stock. Balancing figure. This is the stock at the date of fire. This is how you will calculate the claim to be submitted. Okay, this is the closing stock at the date of fire. And how will you submit the claim? You have to submit the claim like this. This is working note. And claim is prepared like this. Statement of claim. And particular rupees. So stock at the date of fire. Rupees. You have given that amount answer you got here. Then suppose a part of the suppose a part of the goods have been saved. You could save a part of the uh, goods stock out of fire. That is called a salvage. If that is given in the problem, you have to deduct it from here. Less salvage. Then balance amount is treated as insurance claim to be submitted to the insurance company. This is how insurance claim is computer and this is a very simple problem in this case gross profit ratio is given and now we will discuss how you calculate the claim if the GP ratio is not given 
if gp ratio is not given in the same problem you will be given the opening stock the purchases the direct expense the sales and closing stock of the previous year you will be given all the details of the previous year in that case you will have to prepare the trading account of the previous year the original trading account of the previous year trading account as working note there you will put the opening stock of the previous year you will take the purchases of the previous year you will take the direct expense of the previous year you will take the sales of the previous year you will take the closing stock that is the opening stock of this year closing stock of the previous year you get here to gp gross profit you will get then gp ratio is equal to gp divided by sales into 100 you get gp ratio then after preparing this trading account you will prepare memorandum trading account then using this gp ratio you will find closing stock at the date of fire then you prepare statement of claim so to sum up two types of problems will be given for calculating insurance claim one is gp ratio given the other is gp ratio not given if gp ratio is given you can prepare memorandum trading account in the working note opening stock at the beginning of the year of fire <coughs> purchases up to the date of fire direct expense up to the date of fire sales up to the date of fire then you have to find out gp as a percentage of sales here gross profit sales into gp ratio you get closing stock as the balancing figure then how will you calculate the claim statement of claim stock at the date of fire less salvage means item saved you get insurance claim if suppose in the problem grossing the gross profit ratio is not given before preparing memorandum trading account in the working note itself you will prepare trading account of the previous financial year like opening stock of the previous financial year purchases direct expense sales and closing stock of the previous financial year you get gross profit then you calculate gross profit ratio gross profit divided by sales into 100 and then you will prepare memorandum trading account up to the date of fire use this gp ratio here find the closing stock at the date of fire then find the claim like this i hope you understand how to find insurance claim now let us discuss other problems okay